Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Hectarios. So for this video, I'm just going to be sharing with you all um, this gift box that a friend of mine sent to me. I just got it today and I'm kind of just opening and going through everything on camera for all of y'all. Um, I do want to say, first of all, a shout out to this person, Barbie. She has a shop um, on Etsy and she also sells through Facebook and Instagram. So first of all, I'm just going to show y'all who this is from. Her shop is called Barbie's Magical Path Curio. Okay, and that's her name on Instagram as well. And that's the name of her Etsy shop. And that is also the name of her Facebook group. And here's the information for that as well. And I will also share the links, hopefully, um, in the description box as well, if I'm able to figure it out, because I'm not that good at technology, y'all. So, I'm just going to read this letter, because I think it's so cute and nice, the one that she sent. Um, Dearest brother, thank you for being such a huge inspiration to me. Thank you for sharing your magic with us. You're a beautiful soul and such a blessing. I hope you enjoy your magical mail and goodies. Love, light, and warm fall blessings, Barbie. So, this was just a gift. Um, I was not expecting it. And, you know, it's just like a thank you gift. And just sharing love and support for each other, basically. So... Thank you, Barbie. I love everything that I've seen so far, and I cannot wait to look at the rest of this and share with all of you. So, first of all, um, she sent me some Palo Santo, which smells so good. It's my latest obsession when it comes to cleansing incense. She sent me this huge chunk of selenite. Which y'all know selenite is one of my favorite crystals ever. So I love this so much. I can't wait to utilize it for aura cleansing. Um, setting talismans on it for cleansing and stuff. Because selenite purifies anything that it touches. So I love having huge pieces of it. You can see that I have selenite towers here on my altar already. Um, for that reason. Um... She sent me this loose incense blend. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it smells amazing. It smells really good. I can't wait to try that out and burn it. I have this necklace. Which is gorgeous as well. Look how pretty that is, y'all. So, that's beautiful. Probably charge that with energies in the next full moon. It already kind of feels blessed. And... So, she sent this as well. This is a top polished, oh god, I can't say that, aka Super 7 or Melody Stone. Uh, I don't know how to say that scientific word. <laughs> I felt the energy of this, like, immediately when I opened up the package itself, like, just the box that she sent. Like, as soon as I opened that, I could feel the energy of this stone radiating out. And as I opened it and separated everything, I figured out it, it was this stone that was putting off, like, the supercharged, intense energies. So, 
I've never worked with this done before, so I'm very much looking forward to that. I'm excited for it. You can see that, like, there's little fractures in there that give it color and stuff. Um, but definitely the energy from this feels very, very strong. So I'm looking forward to working with that as well. Have y'all worked with Super 7 Melody Stone before? If you have any tips on it, let me know in the comments. Okay, the next thing is this selenite sphere with this little cute wooden stand. So gorgeous. And it has this little teeny wooden stand for it to be on. I'll probably put this on my Hecate altar. charge that in the full moon as well. I really love that a lot. Okay. <laughs> the next thing I want to show y'all, I laughed so hard when I saw this. It was like the third thing that I saw. <laughs> this is a clear quartz penis. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is the rated R video now. But look at that, isn't that like hilarious and cute at the same time? <laughs> I'm definitely putting that on my altar to the horned god. So you can stay right there. Okay, this next thing, rainbow fluorite heart. This is lovely. Look at that. The colors. It's got green, blue, purple, and all sorts in between. I don't know if y'all can see it that well. From the lighting. But this is lovely. I've always liked fluorite for it's like a rainbow colors. I really love the energy of this as well. I'm just going to leave this one out. Put that on my Hecate altar as well. Um, the next thing is water etched selenite. I think there's another one of these somewhere. So two pieces of water etched selenite. So this is like a really grayish color selenite. So I can see the difference in the coloring. I've never worked with this kind before, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Testing this out. This energy feels more subtle than regular selenite. Feels more clear that applies to the way the energy feels or if that makes sense I should say this is the other piece I feel like it's probably even more cleansing and clearing than regular selenite for some reason. And you'll see like the shimmer on this. If I turn it in a certain way. 
so it still has that selenite shimmer but it is more gray and murky looking with sediments in it and stuff have y'all worked with this kind of selenite before it just feels more clear and light and subtle to me I feel like I should make this piece into a pendant That's nice. I will look forward to working with that. Okay. This next stone is a blue kyanite cluster. So. Looks a little bit feels a little bit dusty, chalky. Let me get this rag real quick. Um, I've never worked with blue kyanite before actually either. So here's what this looks like. It's got blue with gray and green coloring in it. I know this I'm recording this on my phone so it doesn't really focus that well when I put it up close. But I want y'all to be able to see the colors without the window lighting so strong. This feels very pure and high vibrational as well. I feel like this has a lot of healing energy, cleansing, purification, and empowerment of the light. So I'll very much look forward to working with that one. Then we have some black Tibetan quartz point. That's something I'm very familiar with. I love black quartz, smoky quartz. So, I'm used to those energies. I love those very much. I'm not gonna take each one of those out. I will show you all this though. This is just another smoky quartz point it's larger you know I think I why the reason why I love black and smoky quartz so much is because it reminds me of a soul gems off of Skyrim y'all feel that way about black quartz as well or black soul gems I should say I love this piece. It's got a really nice smokiness to it, but if you hold it up to the light, you can see, you know, it's more clear on the edges and the smokiness is more in the center, which you will not be able to see on here that well. Can y'all kind of see that right there? It's like the darkness is focused in the center of the crystal and then up towards the point as well great energies with that okay then I'll show y'all these Shiva lingam stones so there's just one normal one and then there's a black one so I'll show y'all those two look at this cute little bag <laughs> I'll most likely put these on my horn god altar as well, since these are also phallic symbolism. Okay. And 
and the black one. This one has skulls on it. I really like this one. In case you can't tell, I love black things, black stones, darker stones, and all of that. So there's that one. I really, really like the energy of that one. I might just carry this one around in my pocket sometimes. Okay, then we have some clear quartz points. I never have enough of those. I love using these in crystal grids set around spells and candles for different things. This one has like two little ones piggybacking on it. If y'all can see that. very nice okay and what is this Miriam stone also called script stone I don't think I've ever worked with this before or even heard of it Oh, that is really pretty. It's so intricate. I know y'all aren't going to be able to see it that good on this camera. It literally looks like a bunch of little intricate lines. I'm going to have to look up what the energies of this is. It feels, let me see, it feels like a very ancient energies. Maybe it's associated with the Akashic Record. I feel like volcanic energy. Like how you would feel from, you know, lava stone or you know, those kind of stones. It feels very ancient. So, I'm not sure, but I'll have to look at what the meaning of the stone is, what its energies are, what, it, what planets it's associated with and all of that. But it feels fiery and earthy combined together. So that's nice as well. I might put this on my ancestor altar and work with it in that way. Once I know the energies, if I can confirm that it really is what I'm feeling. Hang on a second. Okay, I think that was everything. And, oh yes, of course, save the best for last because this is my favorite gift of all. Now, I thought she was only going to send me a ring because that's what she initially asked me, my ring size, and um, said she was going to send me a gift of a ring. I was not expecting all of this, but look at this. It's a little rainbow moonstone carved into a face. I think it is so cute and I love it so much. It is perfect in my opinion. I kind of wanted to show you all the flash on it, but I don't think I'm going to be able to in this lighting. It's got a nice blue flash. See that? 
I love it so much. I will probably be, be making this one of my top rings to wear all the time in my videos and just in general. Thank you so much for all of these beautiful, lovely gifts, Barbie. I love all of it, and I am shook by how much that you sent, and I'm kind of overwhelmed with all the different energies of these other stones I have not worked with before. So I have my research cut out for me. I'm just going to leave this on. And um, I will definitely, oh, I forgot to show you all this other piece. I don't even know what this is. I think it's some kind of um, ruby, I think, and some kind of a matrix of this like black shimmery stone. I really don't know what this one is and it's not labeled. Um, it was just in this bag with the letter, but I think it's adorable too. It's so tiny and cute. And I'm pretty sure it's Ruby. So love that as well. Thank you so much. And once again, just to shout out to Barbie and her shop. Go check her out on Facebook, on Etsy and Instagram. And she also has her own website. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. She has her email here at the bottom. Which is the same as her... Other names, Barbie's Magical Path Curio at Yahoo.com. And definitely go check her out. Like I said, I'll put the links in the description box. And she has so much magical crystals and things available for sale. And, you know, it's great. And she's just a very lovely lovely person as well she's very nice and great energies so thank you so much for all of this barbie it means so much to me i cannot wait to utilize all of it um thank you guys for watching this video i know i don't really um, like doing haul videos or anything but this really isn't a haul this is just gifts and it's different to me and it means a lot to me so that's why I wanted to share it with all of you so please go check out Barbie and if you have any questions for my upcoming Q&A leave that in the comment section below if you have any video topic suggestions for entire whole videos to be about leave that in the comments below if you have any requests for how to do certain spells and magic I will do a video on that as well if you leave that in the comments below and that's basically going to be it for this video. So until next time, hell to the witches, hell hecate, and blessed be.